Fight fans, here we go with UFC 287 fight predictions. Uh, no, no need to waste time. Let's just get right into it. So if you looked at the last couple of videos, uh, you're doing well. We are 7-1 this year on fight predictions uh, with Kamaru Usman being the one to mess it up against Leon. Uh, here at 287, we had a couple of really good fights. I'll start with the co-main event because I feel like that's a pretty easy one. Uh, Gilbert Burns is a big favorite, and he is so for a reason. If he follows his coach's directions and continuously looks to take him down to the ground and doesn't get involved in a sloppy stand-up war, he should win this fight. He should be able to control him. He should be able to take him down. Uh, you know, Masvidal is a great striker, and he's always got a shot. He can always knock somebody out. But, you know, if you can find this, you know, with a friend or anybody where you can get a even up bet, this is a good one to take. Uh, main event, if you decide to bet in this one, this, this one would be something I'd throw in my uh, best bets category. Um, but if you do want to bet on someone here, I would lean more towards uh, Izzy. And the reason being is even though he's lost all three fights, he's going to be the guy that's uh, more active. He's going to score more points. And he was ahead by a good portion at least two of those three fights uh, and, and got caught. I think this time he's going to be a little bit, build a lead and be safer, be smarter. Uh, hopefully he'll continue to wrap up when Alex gets inside because, man, that guy's super powerful. So, you know, he can always come back at any time. But again, odds are, I would say, Izzy's going to outpoint him in win the match, you know, whether it's a three to two, four to one, whatever it is. I think he has the potential to win most of the rounds with Alex having that knockout power. Another thing Izzy should look to do in this fight is use his wrestling advantage. Yes, he's the smaller fighter. Yes, this is going to tire him out. But if anybody's going to be gassed, I'm going to be guessing it's the guy that weighs in at 185 and is getting to fights at, you know, 215, you know, maybe as high as 218, depending on who you believe. Long story short, Alex cuts a ton of weight to fight at 185. So test his gas tank. Uh, but those are the two big predictions for this fight. Uh, you can see the uh, previous fight predictions and, you know, know you're in good hands. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit me up in the comment section. Thanks a lot.